Hello, my dear students. Today we have to derive expression for elastic potential energy in a stress wire. When we are say, sikuka the we are do the labor magi elastic potential energy he from la direct to sikuka. And the sigi elastic potential energy combined direct to the high tardy. When the energy high tardy equivalent to work. So uh, while stressing the wire some work should be done and that amount of work done is equivalent to elastic potential energy of the stress wire when we are just to comment of the work that we need to call and we work that we need to call elastic potential energy or do it and we work that high tardy kind of money and we need to force into distance have to do and we need to get some form of the world force into distance and last time we have defined say Young's modulus can define the way that the dose I need amount of work done or elastic potential energy stored in the stress wire. So, in terms of Young's modulus, the area of cross section of the wire, then deforming force, stress, strain, all the amount of the premium done. And the point is expressed on the call. And let's see how to derive the expression for elastic potential energy in a stress wire. So first we write like this elastic potential energy potential energy store in a stretch stretch wire. See now my heading because. Stress we are the labor, what is energy to book saver. <coughs> so let us consider a wire. Uh, this represents a wire having original length L. So here L represents original length of the wire and whose one end is fixed to a rigid support. We are going to give us this example now. We are going to fix our head. A deforming, a dormant deforming force is applied to the other free end of the wire. See, we are going to put a deforming force on the piece of land. And with that, we are there. The wire gets elongated. I will sound to run the report. So, I know. So, I see figures now. Here. So, X represents increase in length of the wire under the application of normal deforming force F. And the wire is the area of cross-section. The area of cross-section is the area of cross-section. So, by expressing the wire, some work should be done by the normal deforming force and the amount of work done is equivalent to elastic force energy. Store in the stress wire. So after this, after the signal level, signal is given of the increase constant. Let us consider a wire of length length L and having uniform area of cross section uniform area of cross section capital A whose one end is fixed to a rigid support to a rigid support <coughs> so, as shown in figure, as shown in figure, a dormant deforming force, a dormant deforming force, capital F, is applied 
is applied to the other 3n 3n of the wire such that such that the wire such that the wire is elongated wire is temporarily called wire is located through through length x square square x minus minus square we have given to the deforming force applied to the wire in the x we have increased the rate of call then we have reason then Dormant stress. Dormant stress. Set of. Set of. In the wire. Equal to dormant stress. Have the deforming force divided by area of R. Aduga. Longitudinal strength. Produced in the wire, and you see in length divided by horizontal length. And we go similar here. and longitudinal, longitudinal strength produced in the wire, produced in the wire equal to. Yes, change in length divided by original length. Okay, so, change in length divided by original length. So, now, longitudinal length is strength produced in the wire. And we have M by A, the public force divided by area of cross. This is now, normal stress area. So, now, the other thing, the youngest modulus of the wire is there. It's fine to have it used in the car. Okay. See there, yeah? And we have a car that is there. Therefore, Young's modulus, Young's modulus of the wire is given by y equal to Young's modulus height of the normal stress, that is a by a divided by longitudinal stress, that is x divided by l. So we may write F L divided by A X by Larian quark. Then from this we can find out say the forming force in terms of the modulus. F is by V R Y A X divided by L. Regular idea quark. F say Y A X divided by L R D and write the equation number one. So force, normal deforming force applied to the wires there in terms of Young's modulus, area of cross-section of the wire, sales in length, and original layers by PVR. Then we can find out work done, well, work done by the normal deforming force increasing the uh, small length of the wire. But you have to see the wires here, you know, my name is here. You have to see it, but it fresh small length increased over the TV deforming force. So we move on to our toxic quark. So we get it like this. The small amount of work done, work done by the applied deforming force, applied deforming force. To stress to so to stress well, the forming force to stress the wire through small length small length then say dx dx represents 
small increase in length of the wire is given by so we bear like this dw it is small amount voltage equal to force into distance force into distance by we are uh the same way you don't put all force and displacement level the other way direction of force car direction of the increase in length that is displacement with direction of the arena for this my previous year force into increase in length of the wire so say right equation number two so equation number two here then uh, we can find out total work done by the normal deforming force to increase the length of the wire from zero to x zero the x for wire in length is how to put up so the normal deforming force of the total work done to our input was zero and this should be called to uh, integration of small walden with proper limits similar limits small walden there for now integration to the level high the zero the x for some of the sumba work that was some sub yama the body I do get high about water me up door. Why the puzzle laga? Why not? Total water from the game. Okay. I'm going to get back to you. We have to use integration. Integration is a final. This is a journey. I do get total water from the game. Okay. You see. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Okay. Therefore, the total. The total war done. By the deforming force, by the deforming force, by the deforming force to stress the wire from zero to x is given by set. W equal to integration of the W from zero to x material, and this will be equal to see the equation is a law. The W have the f the x from zero to x material. Then again, using equation number one, equation number one, the f equal to this is a law. That is y a x divided by l have the x from zero to x material. <coughs> See equation number one, the last one. Equation number one, the F single one. Then we have to integrate X with respect to X. We are capital Y, capital A, and the LD constant of the need to integrate. So we have to integrate only this variable quantity X with respect to X. See integrate the row. See Y, A, L, this part of row. Y, A divided by L. Integration of X with respect to X, the, it should be like this x squared by 2 luckily from 0 to x minus 2. See, can you like right at the integration of the formula of the form? Integration of x to the power n with respect to x a, x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 finally the rule. As the still is there, smile up the integration of x with respect to x, I tell you, here the power of x is 1. So, uh, in this formula, we have to replace this small n by 1. See, let me go 1, uh, n j. See, the power is here. And we say 1, you know, n equal to 1, so let's find out. 1 plus 1 is 2 times. 1 plus 1 divided by n plus 1 is 1 plus 1. That is 2 times. And we do this like the call. See, the formula is the last one. See, the call. See, the call. So, according to the rules of definite integration, here we have to substitute upper limit x in place of x. See upper limit kawi, so then limit x in both the c's is a degree. At the plus zero is the lower limit kawi, lower limit symbol, c's the lady x the value at the door minus the other. So it's my equity. Y a l cos. x in both the x is the log x in the player. x squared by 2. x in both the zero is the log. Zero times the cos minus the other. I will see from the cos. So you may write y a x square divided by 2l square to add them. As a similar number of volts, you can use manu kiwi yai kwa. See, you can talk here. Right now. Say, half like that. It do y a x divided by l. It do x square yai kwa. x square is x square yai kwa. 
Or is there a y a x divided by l zero? So I'm going to have a deforming force. Equation number one, we are going to y a x by l d, deforming force of the at the x line, elongation of the yr or increase the length of the yr. So we get it like this. This is equal to half into deforming force. Deforming force into elongation of the wire. Elongation. Elongation of the wire. See here. Oh. Now, this work done is equivalent to elastic potential energy stored in the space wire. See, open elastic potential energy from ladder. See here. Oh. Uh, see, F command. Do you know what I just said? It's a force as F to the core. So, it's my turn. You see, I see my heart. You see, it's my turn. It's my turn. Says my new score. The following force has a capital F. So, we will be right like this. W equal to half into F into X. So, yeah, F represents the following force, and X represents the location of the wire. So, we will be This work done. This work done. W is. Store is an elastic potential energy of the stress wire. Stress wire. My name is the And again, we can find out elastic potential energy per unit volume of the wire. Ready? You need volume of labor energy. Again, it's my EBI. Elastic. What they said energy per unit volume per unit volume of the wire equal to the energy divided by volume of the wire. That is one divided by volume of the wire. Volume of the wire. I love you. Energy the volume of the wire the divided to a bit the elastic potential energy per unit volume from the but it's the last one. F into a, uh, half into F into L X layer cross. So now the B to the divided by volume by the area of cross section into original length of the wire. So here A L represents volume of the wire. The product of area of cross section into length of the wire is the volume of the other side of the Half F by A D is so the stress of the cross. Normal stress though. Stress, I like the label. Stress. X by L. Sales in length divided by or is the length. So remember, X by L is not straight the money. Right? No, we should read straight. It's not the real. So, half into stress into strain represents elastic potential energy per unit volume of the wire. So, you can see my derivation. See, example, you have to put it up. Can you? By derivation there, otherwise, see, first of all, do a big decision law, I do a sarg was a number the quack, tarot, sent or all, I do a correction, super loud, the exit quack.